Hello, this is Frederick from Tektronics Nordic. Tech Nordic. So, uh, today I'm going to spend a few minutes on how to work with AWGs remotely and with scope, etc. And some people ask me what I'm doing. I usually share this picture with my kids saying that, you know, daddy flies helicopters. But in reality, uh, this design from Lean Shopping is, you know, a good example of Internet of Things. Uh, different interfaces, different buses, and all the sensors that people cope with in their daily life as engineers. So to start with, very short, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect, you know, running the PC, connect to the generators, uh, also connect to the scope. I will focus today on, on the software that controls this one, but mostly I will, will uh, uh, run the program called Source Express, and I'm going to play around with that. So let's start uh, with, with uh, Source Express. Source Express is, sounds like looks like this, and you can download this from our web page, tech.com. When you do it, you have immediately a virtual generator for you to be able to play with. But in my case, I want to connect to a real device. So we connect now to uh, the scope, to the AWG, and here it is. And the setup here is with tabs, but these tabs you can move around any way you want. So I usually when I run this, I set it like this and I do the compensation. I move it out like this. So this is what I normally, my, my starting point. Um, this tab here, it shows you the waveform. This one here, you can create some simple waveform. And this one is to control the compensation. As you see, I already connected to a scope. Um, in terms of function for the scope, there's a built-in kind of a function generator. I will try to show this a little bit quick, how you, how you can run this. Um, so basically what you're doing here is uh, you have a waveform uh, function generator and I would just enable it and I play it and you can see immediately, oh, I maybe go to auto set, that there is a, a waveform here. And you can very, very swiftly change this from, you know, this to square, to triangle, even to Gaussian if you like to do that. So it's just a basic function generator. You can change the sine wave to uh, 0 0.9 if you like, or 1 hertz. We shouldn't do that, you know, to take uh, 1 megahertz again. And we're playing, and uh, there it is. Or we can do it 10 megahertz. And it's playing there. So it's a very simple function generator. So what I want to focus now on is a little bit more about the AWG. And when we do the AWG here, is uh, we're gonna generate a signal, gonna play it back, I'm gonna do some filter stuff, and we're gonna see the difference. So follow me now. So first of all, I'm gonna start by doing a square wave and put it at 100 megahertz. That's basically it, and I use compile. Beepsh. And here's the waveform. The waveform here, I can rename it to call it a clock. And just drag and drop, and this is what's going to be played out now. But I do know already that, you know, AWGs have a sine x over x effect, but also the cables I have between the AWG and the scope is a really bad quality, so I probably need to create a coffee and some comp compensate or de-embed the cable. So I set here 10 megahertz, and I set, to, you know, too good, and I just create confidence, and that will actually create a very strange waveform and sends it to the scope, and the scope will then do some... Uh, you know, uh, feedback to, to this software and then they will create a, 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 let's say an S1 filter or something like that but it's amplitude and phase actually so it's getting the data and scope and they will do some calculating and you can see the uh, magnitude response and the phase response so that's, that's basically done I put this over here again and I right click here and apply corrections and I know this is my correction file just open it, okay, and I can apply, and I can play with this one to see the difference. It's a huge difference in how they look. See that? And let's see how it looks on the scope side. So I will do like this, and uh, now I'm playing the one of them. Of course, I need to set up the scope, and uh, I need to play first, and I need to set up the scope. And we go here, and I just outset, and this is the clock corrected. 
and this is the clock now uncorrected so you can see this is there's some difference in it what you want to do is when you you, you use the arbitrary waveform generators in general you want to make sure that you t take away the effects of cables or connectors and sometimes even antennas to make sure that you have a full line I hope you enjoyed this very short video and uh, I hope to see you in episode number three.